Here we are on the eve of the seventh annual Bookopolis. We are getting ready to interview Lori Corral. Lori, how do you feel about this year's Bookopolis? The work is remarkable. We have all varieties of book structures, processes. Thematically, we um, did not request one theme this year. So we have people investigating their own subject matter. The request was to send your best work of the past two years to Bookopolis. And I feel that it's a really wonderful representation of what's happening in contemporary book arts. This year we're featuring posters from Amos Kennedy and we're uh, screening Proceed and Be Bold along with the 101 pieces that are on display this weekend. So this evening we have music and we will also have a drawing for the small book edition, which we do annually. On the Bookopolis weekend, we show all the entries that have come in. There's almost more here than one person can digest in one weekend. So being able to handle the work, uh, that's kind of something that I think is really unique to Bookopolis. And it's something that really gets people excited. So when people come in, for the weekend events, we um, give them the lay of the land, where everything is, what's going on, and ask them to wipe their hands with hand wipes. And people are, and you'll see them tonight, they, they are reverent with the work and treat it as works of art. But it gives a deeper, fuller experience to be able to move through handmade paper, touch the texture, more senses, can be engaged. We do ask the artist to give permission whether or not people can handle the work. And if it's a request to not be handled, we respect that. But in general, I would say that artists, book artists, printmakers are excited to have people interact and have the full experience of the work. When did you first become interested in book arts? Uh, book arts? Um, gosh, it was a long time ago. I think even when I was in high school. And when I was a junior in college, my mother gave me a book, um, The Robert Bridegroom by Eudora Welty, which had been designed by Barry Moser and his press. And I think that was the first time I really looked at a book and thought, wow, this is a beautiful book. I have to say one of the books I find the most inspirational um, that I still look at is um, by, um, well it's a book by Vladimir Mayakovsky and it was designed by Lizitsky and it's called For the Voice and I think it's one of the most beautiful books and I've, I've only seen it once in person and um, I think it's inspirational because it's very resourceful. It's designed only with things that you can find in the type case or in a normal type shop so no, no extra images were made and no plates were made. What do you look for in a well-rounded piece when during a book arts exhibition? Yeah, so I'm looking for um, good craftsmanship, a great concept, um, and but most importantly the way those two things come together. How does one support the other and not be overwhelmed by the other? So you can have a great idea and maybe not have it executed as well as you would like and your idea sort of suffers and vice versa. You might have a beautifully executed book but if it doesn't work well with the content. So for me, it's the combination of those two things. Wonderful little book about uh, parallax of joy and the joy of a dog owner owning a dog and the joy of a dog owning a stick. And I did it, it's called Two Times Now. I've been a bookbinder 23 years and I do miniatures every year in the last five years with Small Book Exchange. Uh, but I'm predominantly a restoration binder. I do conservation and restoration. And I've really liked some of the people I've met who have their Bibles restored. Uh, that's very special. Taking classes here, I've learned to uh, set type and letterpress. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a beginning wood, wood engraver. I've taught classes here. Box making, leather, 
bindings. I found it, they've been open about a year when I found it. And uh, it was marvelous. I took my first class here and I have been hooked ever since. First show here? Uh, no, I've been in a couple of other book office shows. I have worked from all over the country and from really highly skilled professionals and from enthusiastic amateurs. It's been things that are alive and well in book arts. Hi Kathleen. Is this your first year doing a Bookopolis? It is. It is. Do you take classes here at Bookworm? I do. One of the new bindings that I've learned um, that's extremely attractive is Romanesque. That's the fancy binding. It's the fancy binding. And I noticed you have these beautiful book earrings. Yes. Talk that I made myself. Mm -hmm. You came in from out of town today? From Greensburg, North Carolina. Are you a, a book art? I am. I have some pieces here. I think the first year I submitted work was 2007. Mm -hmm. I love this place. I have taken several workshops there. And um, I participated in the Ladies of Letter Press Conference last month. And I'm envious of people who live right here. But I feel fortunate because I live only two and a half hours away. I'll, I'll be coming up next weekend to do the paper making for a day. So every, I, it's wonderful. It's called Ghost And then I have a little one out here too. And they were done really kind of as a set. That is just beautiful. Thank you. This, the transfer here was his from fabric that I bought in Provence while we were there. I was doing a teacher's retreat at Penland mm -hmm. and decided to stay in Asheville for a night. I really didn't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. It's my first time here. Mm -hmm. And there's so many different forms of books and it just seems like there's no rules at all. I really like the fact that there's no rules to making books. There's so many different sizes and materials. It's really fun. It's pretty fantastic. I've seen some really amazing. It's a really fun opportunity for book artists. I'm mm. taking a class here. You are? Yeah. What kind of class? I took the Magic Box class with Steve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good stuff. I started out as a graphic designer and decided that it was terrible and I wanted to work with my hands. So I started doing a little printmaking, like mostly wet block printing, and then went to book binding. Burned it to a crisp and then puffed it down. Back in the 50s, you got these little cards and cigarette boxes. They're all about these strange things. So like, these are magic nails. Is this your first time at Bookopolis? No, I come every year. I really look forward to it. What was your favorite piece this year? Did you have one? Oh, gosh. It's always in this corner. Um, but I loved, I loved the book about the dog where it says I'm a cat person. Um, but I also, really cheaper. There's, there's a lot of really spectacular ones. Um, I love, yeah. I think that's, oh, I love this one. Yeah. With the ribbons. <laughs>